Guys, when it comes to long-term food storage, there's a lot of different foods out there, a lot of different options, and you really need to have some variety. But one of the most easy accessed foods is your standard canned food. These, of course, you can walk into any grocery store and a lot of other places and pick these up. And we're gonna take a look at how long will food last in one of these cans. Now, probably the most variety would be your canned food. I mean, there's so many different choices. I mean, you can go with your standard vegetables. You can go with fruits. You can go with even meat products. Uh, there's just a lot of different options. And to me, one of the best ways to store up food. This also applies to those large cans. Now, we took a lot of information from the USDA. So this is pretty straight up information. Also, the Canned Food Alliance. So I did a lot of research on this because I wanted to make sure that this information was credible. And of course, the first thing I want to address is your date on the can. Uh, this says best by December 2022. Now, this is a best buy. That means it's for quality and not safety. The USDA does not require that you have a safety date on here because guys, honestly, these things are sealed. Now, the best buy date is actually optimal freshness. Um, you know, if something is gone beyond the best buy date, it typically can lose color, it can lose its texture or change texture, and its flavor. Also, it loses some of the nutritional value. So there is a few downsides for keeping this for extended period of time. But according to the USDA, it does not change the safety factor. Typically, they'll say up to six years or so, and sometimes in between that. One of the things that's a little different is with acidic type foods like tomatoes, they seem to go bad quicker than your pH balanced foods, like these lima beans. And so you have some things like that to consider, but honestly, from all the information I looked at, it really doesn't matter that much. In fact, they even listed Spam as one of the best because of its balanced pH. <laughs> if you can stomach it. Now, this also requires you to keep this in about a 75 or below temperature range. Uh, if you have it heated up, typically it'll expand the can, and that's one of the reasons why a lot of times you'll see cans that are, that are puffed up or expanded or swollen. Uh, now, that's a big no-no, so you don't want to make sure that cans that are swollen, that's, that's a no-go. Cans that are dented slightly are okay, once you open it, you smell it, it seems like it's fine, then you'll be good. Uh, right here, we have the little rim dented right here, but that does not affect the seal. And one of the things about these cans, and we're going to take a look at a can inside in just a second, but the food never touches the actual metal of the can. There's actually a liner on the inside to keep a barrier between the two. Now, these cans are hermetically sealed. And so there's a heat process, and with time, there's, it's extremely sanitary conditions when they can these, and it's under pressure. So there's nothing that's going to be able to grow inside the can. It is completely sealed. And so this can is going to last. I mean, this food, there is no way to get oxygen to it or to get any kind of you know bacteria or anything like that into the can. One of the things is botulism. That's definitely food poisoning that can kill you. But there's, it's not a big concern with your canned food. It's more toward your canning, your home canning. Sometimes that can happen. But botulism is possible. But with commercially canned food, it's very rare. In fact, you should always smell the contents of your can. As long as it smells good and it looks good, you should be good to go. But like they say, when in doubt, <laughs> throw it out. Now, of course, obviously we have the pull top cans. Those seem to be getting more and more popular, uh, but then you have your standard can. So you want to make sure that you have a standard can opener, a manual can opener to go with these. You may have an electric can opener you've been using and it's doing great, but if for some reason you don't have electricity, that's going to be a problem. And so being able to open these up. Another thing that I want to mention is to have variety. Now we have some Vienna sausages here. We've been eating these for years. And these are really easy and quick. And then we have some chunk chicken. Uh, these tamales actually are some of our favorites. I know that seems a little gross, but these are really good. Uh, and so this meat you can keep. You know, and there's a ton of other type meats that you can also store. And then you have your standard vegetables, uh, you know, and all the different brands. Uh, so, you know, you can really make a large variety using canned food. And then, of course, with your peaches and your pears and different things like that with the fruit. Now, here we have diced tomatoes, and this is great for cooking. So, you know, you can use certain cans for different cooking things. 
But guys, the big thing here is, is that this food will last. And really what they say is, honestly, with conditions right, they will last forever. Now, one of the problems is, is when you get rust on a can, because these are metal, sometimes the rust can weaken the metal. Sometimes it allows for bacteria to seep in. So if you have rust on the can, go ahead and toss those out because there is a possibility. Uh, but again, if it's dented, as long as it doesn't break the seal lining on the inside of the can, you know, you should be good to go. Now guys, if your can looks kind of like this, you probably don't want to eat off of it. But this is not a can that we're holding food in. If it looks like this, you're in good shape. And then if you have this little pull top, you're in great shape because you don't have to have a can opener. So we have some pears here. We're going to just go ahead and open them up. This is a great seal around here. We have a lip. We're going to go ahead and just pour these out. Man, that's going to be good. <laughs> the guys inside here, uh, there is a little bit of a coating. You can't really feel it. It does feel like metal, but they do have that coating in there just to keep it from touching the food to the metal surface. And again, these have been sterilized, they've been cleaned. Really, there's a low chance already of any kind of bacteria being in it in the first place. And then with the pressure and heat that goes into canning these, guys, it's really safe. And that's one of the great things about the USDA. I mean, they are making sure that these companies are up to par. And that way you can rely on it. Uh, one thing that I will say though, especially with older cans, is that the metal, sometimes there's not a seal and the food can taste a little metallic. But overall, it should still be safe to eat. I mean, guys, if there's nothing else, uh, you're going to not care. <laughs> At least I won't. Also, with a can, you know you can eat right out of the can. Mmm. I made a good choice. Better than those diced tomatoes, for sure. Dang. I was looking forward to this. Now I know why. <laughs> Now to maintain freshness, it's best to rotate your food. And there are actually some systems out there that are slanted and the cans come down to the front, use those first, and then you replenish them through the back. And that seems to be a great way. It's something that I've wanted to do for a long time and we'll do that for sure, especially now that this uh, virus thing has been going around here in 2020. So we definitely are, are more thinking about preparedness because of that. But again, guys, that's mainly toward freshness and not safety. So if you find cans in the back of your closet, don't necessarily toss them out as long as they're in a good controlled environment and they're not damaged. Uh, that is wasting food. It's something that you could possibly use later on down the road. It's really funny because a couple of years ago, I found a big container that we had a bunch of canned food in. And it was around probably 2005. Uh, when we started storing those. So these cans were 15 years old. I thought we still had them, but I think my wife just tossed them out. The labels were starting to wear off and uh, they looked kind of rough around the edges. And I think we just figured at that time that, you know, they could possibly be bad. Honestly, I really wanted to keep them because I thought, you know what, if we don't have any food, I at least will have that as a backup. Uh, in fact, I was hoping to find it and open one up and eat them while we were here, but that just didn't happen. But honestly, guys, uh, stocking up your pantry with canned food like this is a smart way to go. And again, you will lose some of the taste, some of the texture. You could possibly lose some of the flavor, also nutritional value. But to me, even if this has half the nutritional value, it's still half and it's better than nothing. And who hasn't seen a post-apocalyptic movie where they're eating out of old cans that they found in various places? So guys, when it comes to that canned food, uh, indefinite shelf life pretty much unless the can's damaged. Uh, open it up, smell it. If it has a, a bad odor to it, then toss it. If it's dented or rusted or it's swollen, throw it away. If in doubt, throw it out. Otherwise, enjoy your food. Guys, if you're working on a plan to be more prepared, uh, there's no better resource than the Survival Dispatch Insider. Uh, they use some of the top names in the survival world that come together and put out some plans that are unsurpassed by anybody else. And this is credible information. Uh, we upload one video that's exclusive to the Insider every week. So I'll have a link down below in the description. I think it's well worth checking out. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
if you're even slightly prepper mindset. Okay. You know, the, the okay. and very high protocol. Okay. Even if this has half the truth. So guys, when it comes to canned food, so guys, when it guys when it comes to an emergency, guys, when it comes to an emergency, and you, okay. last piece, guys. Sorry, um, the video's over. You can you can go ahead and go home now. Get you a can of pears. You're worth it.